CBS Sunday movie. Sometimes life gives you something special. No, no, no. It's, it's not possible that I've had a retarded. If you have the courage to see it. There's a new attitude nowadays about Down syndrome kids. It seemed insurmountable. The uphill struggle one family chose to face. Not only did I not get a girl, they didn't even give me a whole boy. Can she turn anger into triumph? I had such dreams. Emmy Award winner Tyne Daly and Richard Crenna star in Kids Like These next. Kids Like These, sponsored by Shackley, America's largest maker of natural vitamins and nutritional products. Come take the baby. Let's get him cleaned up. Certainly, doctor. Oh, when I get to hold him? Joanna, it's been a long delivery. And you're going to need your rest. Let's let the nurse clean him up, and you'll be seeing him very soon. Congratulations, Papa. <laughs> you did good, lady. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Did you see him? Is he okay? Yeah. Perfect. Nice to meet you. How are you, Judge? Good to meet you, sir. Well, what if I could speak to you in my office for a moment, please? Well, yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, uh, 614, Sam. 614. Give my love, huh? <laughs> Here, am I finally allowed to know his name? Daddy, I only had a girl's name. Well, so? So. Bob said that. Dear Joanna, Alexander Jonathan Goodman. Love, Bob. How do you like it? Alexander J. Goodman, M.D. Not bad, not bad. A. Jonathan Goodman. Attorney Law. Excellent, excellent. My, oh, I've got something for you. And Senator Goodman. Mama's cameo. I miss her so much right now. Handed down to the first grandchild of every generation. 
And you will keep it for Alexander to give to his wife, and then it will go to their daughter. Oh, got something for you. And I got something for you. There it is. Harvard. Fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Daddy, see what's holding up the works, will you? I want to hold my baby. Okay. hours old. I mean, how can you tell such a thing? He has the classical characteristics. He has the slanted eyes, the uh, simian crease in the palms, the, the floppy muscle tone, and, and there's more. But it all adds up. And the hard fact is, Bob, your son's a mongoloid. We don't drink. I mean, I can't believe this. Look, I think you should institutionalize this baby right away. That's what we do before a bond is established. Don't let her see the baby, feed the baby, hold him or anything. What is this bond? The bond didn't start today. That bond started the minute that baby was conceived. So did the Mongolism. A bond... This is not the child you've been waiting for. This is a child who'll never learn to read or write or lead a normal life or allow you to. This is gonna break Joanna's heart. Look, Joanna is a teacher, an intellectual. This child will never in a million years understand all the things that mean so much to her. Bob, you have a son by your first marriage. Do you want to saddle him with a half-brother that he can't even relate to? What do you want to do, load your older son with a lifetime responsibility? So what are we supposed to do with this baby, huh? We just throw him away? It's a hard fact to face. But the best thing is to make a clean break. Now, we'll handle all the details. We'll have him put in a nice, clean place. If you want, you can even tell your friends and your family that, that the baby died in childbirth. And you'll never need to know if he's alive or dead. Now look, forget this one. Just go home and start another baby right away. And get on with your life. Can you uh, help me? I can't seem to find the Goodman baby. I'm the grandfather. I'm sorry. You have to speak with the doctor or with the parents. Well, is everything all right? I'm not allowed to give out that information. Please speak to the parents. No, no. No, no, no. It's... Oh, no, it's a mistake. They've got my baby mixed up with somebody else's. It's not possible that I've had a retard. Oh, it's a terrible mistake. Jill, Jill. Dr. Gassner says it's true. There's a test he can do, but he's pretty sure. We'll check it out. You're damn right we will, right now. I want to see my baby. I can tell if there's something wrong with Dr. my baby or not. That would be a good idea. They have to put him in the nursery window. Why not? Is he ugly? Is he repulsive to look at? I haven't seen him yet. What are you doing? What? Nurse? Dr. Gassner? 
Somebody bring me my baby. Right I want to see my baby. No. Bob, get that doctor in here. I want to talk to him. I... You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to hurt yourself, Joe. Where have you got my baby? I want to see my baby. Please, Mrs. Goodman. What have you done with my baby? You're disturbing the other people. I'll disturb this whole damn hospital if you don't bring me my baby. Uh, the doctor ordered something to calm her down. I'll go get it. Tell me this isn't happening. Bob, excuse me, I just wanted to let you know my secretary is making all the arrangements and uh, we'll have all the necessary papers for you in the morning. What are they for? They're to dry up your milk. Because you probably are not going to keep the baby. Uh, the doctor doesn't want you to get engorged. That can be very painful. Sweet looking baby. Thanks. They won't bring me mine. Get some sleep, Mrs. Goodman. Does he have hair? Amy? Oh, hi. This is Bob. It's a boy. Uh, Amy, what? Wait a minute. We have a problem. The doctor thinks the baby is a mongoloid. They have to do some tests. Yeah. No, uh, no, there's a lot we don't know yet. Join us sedated. Yeah, we have to make some decision tomorrow. But Amy, can I call you back? Yeah, Richie's here and he doesn't know yet. Huh? Yeah, thanks. Thanks, bye. It's a boy, Rich. All right, it's neat. No, it's not neat, son. The doctor says that he's a mongolite. That means he'll be retarded. He won't look like other children. And there's uh, more we don't know yet. I don't know if I can handle that, Dad. Yeah, I know, Rich. I'm not, uh, I'm not handling it very well myself. away on the road again, but he called, he sent his love. You know about my baby? I stopped by the nursery, but I, I couldn't find him. They got him hidden away someplace as if he was a, a freak. You know, 
know yet what you're going to do. Damn doctor thinks we should just put him away. What would you do? I don't honestly know. Maybe God makes you pay when life gets too good. I love you, Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi. How are you? Yo. Huh? This is Virginia Page. Um, she would like to talk with us. Great. We'll see you guys at home. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Bye. 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 I'm here because I was told that uh, your baby was born with Down syndrome. Uh, the doctor keeps saying, uh, mongoloid. No, no, we don't use that term anymore. Has your doctor been encouraging you to uh, give the baby up? He's almost insisting on it. What's the baby's name? I've been thinking maybe we ought to save the name. Why? He's still your baby. And you're not the first parents that had to deal with this problem. How do you feel about what's happened? I wonder if what I did wrong. Yeah. Same here. Very natural feelings. But there's nothing you did wrong. Down syndrome is a chromosomal accident. It happens in about one out of every 800 births. Look, there's a new attitude nowadays about Down syndrome kids. Many people feel you can work with them. If you start early, it's possible they can do more than anybody ever thought. I can put you in touch with a very special woman who runs a wonderful early intervention program for kids like these. You should meet other parents. There's a parent support group near you. No promises now. But don't you want to consider giving it a try? You might want to try, say, six months. If it doesn't work out, we'll talk again. At least you'll know you gave him a good start in life. But if you decide to bring him home, call this number. The sooner the better. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Page. What are we going to do? My baby. Mrs. Goodman, Dr. Gaston feels it would be better for him to stay here in the nursery. He'll be just fine. Bring us our baby. Bring us Alexander Goodman now. Sure now. I'm not sure of anything. Well, no 
nobody told me. Not a lot of hair. But hair grows. Let's see what else we got here. Hmm? Arms and oh, look at that. Perfect little hands. So tiny. Didn't think you were ever this small. Oh, he's got your feet. <laughs> yes, look at those long toes. You know, it's going to be a present for Alex the day that he could go fishing with us. I guess there's no point now. Nobody said he couldn't go fishing with us. Look, son, no one knows what to expect of him. But I do know Joanna wants to see you. could use a hug. Well, what is this? Nice. Just a present, a baby, you know. Thought we could take him fishing, you know, me and Dad. Want to see him? Robert Goodman. I'd like to make an appointment, please. Believe me, Mr. and Mrs. Goodman, your tears are wasted. This child will be the joy of your life. We're lucky. No heart problems. The ears are important, too. These children have smaller ear canals. And if there's fluid in there, we should know it. Because hearing means speech. 
nice and clear. No fluid now, but we'll keep watching. Now we're going to take a look at your muscle tone and see what that's like. Now we're going to lift you up. There you go. Yes, there you go. See the muscle tone? Very weak. But we'll strengthen the little neck and the little arm. And we're going to start right now. We're going to put him down here like you'll do at home. Put him on the floor. Show you what to do. And this is what will happen. You will come here every week, but you'll do this at home too. You'll do it when you change him and when you bathe him and when you play with him. And you're going to do it too, Papa. You too. Does he have his own room? Yeah, why? Surround him with color, with music, with activity. Bombard him with sensation. I can't say it enough. Stimulate. 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 Hey, Papa, what do you think? Well, it's a little, um, subtle. <laughs> <laughs> Help me in like Oh, that's fabulous. Alex, look. Look, Alex. See? This is called a dinosaur. See the dinosaur? See the sleeping baby? Very stimulating room. <laughs> See the dinosaur? Hmm? See the dinosaur? Hi, Joe. In here, Amy. Dinosaur. See the dinosaur? Still at it, huh? Doctor says keep talking at him. Oh, man. What does she say? She says she sees wonderful progress. I wish I did. I'm glad our kids are going to be so close in age. If I told you we're going to call him David? Unless you get a girl. No way. It's going to be a boy. Don't tempt fate. When you want something too much, they punish you. Take my word for it. You gotta get off this punishment thing. It was an accident. I was such a good girl. I didn't smoke, I didn't drink. I didn't cross the street against the life. And not only did I not get a girl, they didn't even give me a whole boy. on the opposite hip. He can't help but come up into a sitting position. See that? Now you try it. Okay. That arm go across the chest. Press down on that hip. Up he goes. There he is. Yes, you did it. to do is to strengthen his arms and his shoulders for crawling. Remember? It's called rain and it's all wet. Something like your bath, only cold and yucky instead of warm and yummy. Hand me a shirt, will you, Bubble? Yes. Yeah. You're going to go in the car with your daddy. Yes. Yes, so we have to dress warmly so we don't get chilly and give daddy a cold. Not this one. See the dinosaur? See the stupid dinosaur? See the lousy stupid dinosaur? Oh dear God. Look. Look. He understands. He understands me. Oh. oh. There's something in there. Yes, he can learn. 
dinosaur. Yes. 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 enough already. I mean, she hasn't made a real dinner in a month. What are you trying to say, son? I mean, you know, after Mom died, I wasn't that crazy about you getting married again. I know. But when you did, I, I, I got to really like Joanna, you know. I, I thought we were really close. She loves you very much. Well, I love her too. But it, yeah, it's just that she's gotten so wrapped up on that kid. No, she, she never comes to any of my games anymore. She, she has no idea if I'm passing or failing. I mean, she, she's so busy, she wouldn't notice if I grew another head. So you're feeling kind of lost in the shuffle, huh? I, don't know, I mean, isn't it getting to you? I mean, what, what, what's she trying to prove anyway? That she can do it all, you know, without you or me? Yeah, I know, Rich. Well, he's been tough on all of us. On all of us. Do you understand what I'm saying? I got extra cheese, extra pepperoni. Surprise. Rome, Naples, Venice. What about Alex? Aunt Florence is going to stay with Alex. And your dad said he'd come by every day and look in on her. And Richie will be there. I can't go. I can't leave him. He's only a year old. Oh, Joanna, it's only for two weeks. But he's making such good progress, I can't interrupt that. Oh, I know, but two weeks isn't going to make any difference. You're the one who's so concerned about his physical development. Any day now he's going to pull himself up. He's ready to, I can tell. Give him time. Give him time? What about us? How about giving us some time? Joanna, between your going back to work and all the time you're spending with Alex, I hardly see you anymore. You know what I think? I think you're jealous of him. I'm jealous of the time we used to spend together. The baseball game, the fishing trips. We haven't even gone to a movie since Alex was born. I don't like what's happening to you, Joanna. You're so absorbed with him. You're a changed person. You've stopped doing all the things you used to enjoy. I, it's even started to affect Richie. He feels as if you don't know whether he's alive or dead. I know Richie is alive. And I know that he can take care of himself. Richie's not retarded. But he's still a kid. He may not need you as much as Alex, but he still needs you, and so do I. We're in trouble, Joanna. I think we've got to get away for a while together. I think we've got to take this trip. I can't go. Not right now. I didn't tear up the damn tickets and forget the whole damn thing. I'm not hungry anymore. Neither am I.
Hey, Joe, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, Richie. Uh, well, you see, I'm going to be taking Sharon to the prom. Sharon? I thought it was Peggy. But no, no, Sharon. And uh, she's going to be wearing a pink dress. So, I mean, what kind of flower do you think goes with that? Camellia. A rose-colored camellia would be fabulous with pink. Yeah, all right, thanks. Anytime. Hey, what, what's uh, going on here? Your father and I had an awful fight, and I'm trying to save the marriage. Oh, well, was it about me? No. No, it was about me. Listen, Richie, your dad and I are going to start going out more often. How would you feel about doing some babysitting? Uh, that's a switch. My, yeah. You, you never let me do anything for Alex before. Times there are changing. There'll be a lot of changes around here. You'll see. All right. All right, I got myself a brother. I'm uh, sorry about last night, Joe. So am I. I just talked with Richie. He's fine. I'm fine. What is this? A black tie dinner? Oh, no. Blue jeans would be fine. I am sorry about last night. Forgive me. Hey, Joe, uh, we don't have to leave Alex if you're uncomfortable about it. I never meant to shut you out with Alex. I got to be a one-woman band there for a while, I guess. No more solos, okay? I'll share him with you. I'll share him with Richie and Daddy, okay? Are we a team? Always were and always will. Things that are what? Round, right? Right? Round. Okay, what do you see here this round? Good. What is that? Orange. Orange. Good. What else? Grapefruit. Right. Yeah. Want a banana for your monkey? Thank you. Get out of my way. Thank you. You son of a... Come on. Let's go. Dad, I'm telling you, if you would have been there, you would have done the exact same thing that I did. You know, Rich, the people aren't deliberately cruel. It's just that they're dealing with a lot of preconceived notions. Ignorance. That's what we've had to fight. And that's what we've got to change. You're a rotten kid, but you're mine. I love you, Richie. I've never been as proud. Great, and now uh, you're gonna split the 150 bucks, right? Not a chance. And here we got the C page, right? C. C is for cat. And is for dog. And David. David is a D. -E. And who's this on the ladder? Daddy. Daddy is a D. H-O-U-S-E. House, four, five, six, seven, eight on a double word score, 16. Well, thank you very much. I've been sitting on this Q forever. Q, triple letter. I. Oh. C, K, K. Ah. Uh, what is that? Look at that. Another triple letter. Uh, 30, K. Oh. A triple letter score there. A triple letter score oh. there. Hey, look. Alex, Alex, cut it out. Cut it out. 
Come out. Wait, Alex. Look. A. Joanna, Joanna, L. Joanna, hold it, Joanna, hold it. Bob, I'm, I'm just. Uh, we're right in the middle of something. You can't come busting in here. Well, what is the big now, deal? Wait, please, other people have rights too. It's only a game. Discipline's not a game. He's going to have to go out into the world, and he's going to have to live by the same rules as everybody else. What did you say? What's this one? D. What's this one? Oh. Oh, what's that one? Oh. Oh, oh Alex. Alex, you're going to read. He's going to read. What's this one? E. What's that? W, W. I love you, W. I love you, W. This is who? Who's that? Aunt Amy? Aunt Amy. And this is Apple. That's exactly right. And this is who? Who's this? Who is this? Alex. That's right. That's Alex. All right, David, what is this word? Alex. You're a good boy. But let's let David do this one, okay? okay? All right, David, you know this word? You know this word. Ball. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's enough of this, though. Now, why don't you guys go play? That's off to you, Professor. He's way ahead of David. He's way ahead of most normal kids. Look what I can do! Don't worry, Davey will catch up. Anyway, I've had him in school full time since he was two years old. I'm a compulsive teacher. I would have done the same with any kid. Oh, did I tell you? At school, the principal is giving a room to the preschool for retarded children. He'll be right there in the regular school. Right there with the regular kids. They won't be in that ancient church basement anymore. He'll be three doors down from my classroom. I'll be able to look in on him any time I want. Mr. Goodman? Yeah, Fernando Salazar. Yeah, yeah, my daughter's in Alex's class. Uh, listen, I'm down at the school right now, and I don't like what I'm hearing. I said it before, and I'll say it again. This class is for kids with learning disabilities, not retarded. It's all in the petition. And whereas the intent of this class is to educate children with learning disabilities, we, the undersigned parents, protest the inclusion of a mentally retarded child. As I said, the Goodman boy must have been qualified when he was admitted into the class. But you put one retard in the class, they all get called retard. You want that for your kid? There's got to be classes for kids like that. Why'd they put them in here? Exactly. That's why we've drawn up this petition. Take your time and read it carefully before you sign. Good evening. I'm Bob Goodman. Uh, this is my wife, Joanna, and this is our son, Alex. I understand you're having a discussion here this evening about Alex's qualifications for this class. Joanna and I, we were just, uh, you know, kind of curious. What grade level is your child reading on? Oh, well, she's not exactly reading yet. Oh, I see. But Alex, uh, uh, what's that sign say? Emergency. Why? In case they have five on mine. What about um, arithmetic? Well, he knows his numbers pretty good. Up to ten. Hmm. Alex, what? would you count for Dad? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, uh, do it the way you learned on Sesame Street. I won't take up your time, but he can also do that in French and German. Can he write? Yeah, sure. Did you write something for us? Huh? Sir. Go. Oh. Good. A L E X. A, right. A. Huh? Look, I didn't, uh, drag my kid out of bed to put on a show. But I couldn't think of a better way to prove that he has as much right to be in this class as anybody else. Come here, sweet face. I can excuse you not knowing what a kid like Alex can do nowadays because it's all pretty new. 
But what I can't understand, what I find it hard to excuse, is that people like you who know what it's like, who know how it feels to have a child with a problem, can turn around and look down on another kid. I move this meeting be adjourned. Alex, huh? say goodnight to the people. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Come on. ahead of everyone in his class academically but as i told you before he's not up with the others physically well that's to be expected isn't it anyway it's more important that he learn how to read a book than kick a football around excuse me thank you hi mr salazar uh, mr goodman how you doing uh here he's doing great i'm glad it all worked out oh, yeah uh, thanks to you we owe you one well uh, as a matter of fact you gave me an idea See, I teach a class in social work down at the community college. I was wondering if you'd be willing to come and talk to my students. Uh, about what? Down syndrome. I mean, from the parents' perspectives, there's nothing in the textbooks. Oh, no way, no. No, I haven't made a speech since I was a freshman in college. No, you ought to talk to Joanna about that. Well, not me. I teach grade school. I'm not so sure about college, kids. Nah, she can do it. Huh? She never had any problem talking. What do you think? That would be great. <laughs> what are your expectations of Alex's future? Realistically. Well, it's hard to know exactly. Alex is one of the first of a whole generation of kids that has had the advantages of early stimulation. I'm not putting any boundaries on him. I believe that he'll be able to hold down a job and live in the community and have a full life. A very full life. Thank you. That'll be fine, thanks. So, how many of those talks have you given so far? Oh, I know, six or eight. Seems like uh, Alex has missed a lot of school lately. So have you. I had the days coming. People need to see what he can do. It's educational for him. He gets to see a whole bunch of new places. He's going to be a very well-traveled young man. It's good preparation for whatever he goes into. Joanna, Alex isn't going to go into anything. He's never going to college. He's probably never going to get married. How can you say that? Why couldn't he marry? He's one of the first to be in programs since he was born. Look what we've done with him. And you've done wonders. But you haven't made the Down syndrome go away. Joanna, you're just so close to Alex, you can't see the areas where he's still behind. Like what? Well, like his speech. He really needs that extra speech therapy. He's going to need it for a long, long time. Now, let's face it. He's a lot harder to understand than regular kids. Then he'll have speech therapy. He'll have whatever he needs. We have no way of knowing how far he can go as long as we keep working I with him. Sweetheart, I just don't want you to go overboard. Huh? I don't want you to be hurt. I don't want him to be hurt. Yes. Oh, yes, of course I remember you. Well, uh, the date should be fine, but could we, could we make it in the afternoon, say, say 3.30 after school? Fabulous. Thank you. So who can't you say no to this time? 45 student nurses. Your textbooks are outdated. Yes, children with Down syndrome used to die young. 
respiratory ailments, heart disease. But today, in the 1980s, we have antibiotics, we have sophisticated heart surgeries, a whole battery of medical techniques to combat the physical problems. What is more difficult to combat is the stereotyping, the mythologies about how much a Down syndrome child can and cannot learn. Don't let anybody write off these children in advance. Don't let anyone tell you that they cannot learn. Don't let anyone deny them the right to do the best that they can do and to be the best that they can be. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Alex, there you go. There you go. Yeah, boy. Thank you. Thank Great. you. Wake up, Bob! Oh, hey. Hey. Good throw, David. Good throw here. Come on, catch. Atta boy. You want to try? I'm sorry. Hey, Dad. Thanks, Alex. All right. All right. Here, David. Here you go. Catch. Hey, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Oh, come on, Alex. Hey, hey don't do that, Alex. Alex, don't do that, okay? Alex? Alex, come on over here. Come here. What can you tell me about... These two leaves. One brown, one yellow. Brown and yellow. Very good. And what else? One big, one middle. Very good. See these veins? Yes. You want to count them for me? One, two, three. And this side? Four, uh, enough. Five. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. It's the time to stop teaching. I'll show you what leaves are for. You want to see what leaves are for? I'll show you guys what leaves are for. That's what leaves are for. I'm going to bury you two, both of you. I'm going to bury you both in leaves. Coffee time. What leaves are for. I'm going to bury you two, both of you. I'm going to bury you both in leaves. You're both going to be a couple of leaves. There you go. You look like a couple of chipmunks now. That's what leaves are for. Hey! <laughs> You do tend to turn everything into a learning experience. Damn right. If I didn't, I wouldn't have a little kid who could count to ten in seven languages. So what? When is he ever going to need to count to ten in Japanese? Except for you hauling him around and putting him through his act like a trained seal. That act makes Alex feel good about himself. He loves it. That act has done a lot to show people what Down's kids can do. That act has done a lot for an awful lot of people, including you. I'm doing the best I can with what I've got. What do you want me to do? Don't expect more from Alex than he can give. It's me I expect more of. You've got it easy. Davy's normal. He picks stuff up automatically. If I'm not there to teach Alex, he'll never learn it. I have to give twice as much as you. Five times as much as you. Then you're too hard on yourself. Accept what Alex is. Love him for who he is. You think I don't? If you weren't my best friend, I'd throw you out of here. Listen, Amy, I've got a trip tomorrow. I'm going to Salt Lake City and I have to pack. You know, Joe, you're away more than you're home. Sometimes Bob comes over to our house and just sits. He's lonely. Didn't you know that? I'm tapering off. I'm turning down a lot of these offers from now on. Joanna Goodman. Yes. When was the baby born? Uh-huh. A boy or a girl? That's all right. No, I understand. Just catch your breath and... We have a lot to talk about. What, what, what is this? Oh, hey, I couldn't reach you at the office, so I left you a note. A speaker fell out of the meeting at Dallas, and, well, it's kind of a last-minute thing. What? 
Joe, we'll have to hurry if we want to catch that plane. Yeah. No, it's, it's Sam. Sam, they're not going. Oh, in that case, I'll run along. No, uh, Daddy, wait a second. Please. Please, sir. Uh, Bob. Bye. This is very important. It's grand rounds at a big medical school. 225 obstetricians in one room. 225 doctors have probably never seen a kid with Down syndrome like Alex. I haven't seen much of Alex lately. Oh, come on. These are the first people that break the news to the parents. These are the same guys who are still reading those horrible old medical texts and still calling our kids mongoloids. You can see how important it is. Uh, I'm not saying it's not important. I just don't think you'd be traipsing all over the country. One of those doctors from telling some new family the same junk we were told. Isn't it worth it? You might let me know earlier. I tried to get you to the office. It came up all of a sudden. Bob, this is for you. And it's for me too, but mostly it's for Alex. We're shaping the world he's growing up in. If if we can educate people, he'll have a better life. Joe, please don't lecture me, okay? Huh? I know about the world he's growing up in. You better get on the plane, Sam. There's a there's a fabulous Mexican dinner in the microwave. Mm. Hey, Alex. Hey, bye bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Mm. You be a good boy, huh? Okay. Mm. Bye. Adios. is glaring at me. How's the kid? Fine. He had a good day. Before you jump on me, let me explain why I'm late. Late? Well, one o'clock in the morning, one o'clock in the afternoon, what's the difference? I tried to call you. I had a chance to go on a radio show that reaches all seven states in the South. But let me tell you, ten talks in two days is a bit much even for me. With Richie here for a long weekend, I thought you might try to get home uh, earlier instead of later. Uh, Dad, it's all right. It's no big deal. I'm very sorry, Rich. I'll make it up to you. I promised him we'd drive him back together tomorrow. Great. As soon as I'm finished in the city, we'll hit the road. Well, what's with the city? Four different advertising agencies. It took me months to get them to see me. Now, what the hell is so important about four different advertising agencies? When Alex was born, I remember never seeing one single person with a handicap in a commercial. 37 million people with handicaps never see themselves on TV, and I'm going to change that. You're wasting your breath. Maybe, but I have to try. Look, I won't take the train. I'll drive down. The minute the meeting's over, I'll turn right around. No, sir. Uh, forget it. Alex and I'll drive Rich back. If it's so important to you, huh? go ahead and do it. This is not for me. This is for everybody like us. I can make a difference, a big difference. She's riding for a fall, Rich. And there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, Deb, why don't we uh, leave a little early? You know, do a little fishing on the way back, take Alex. You know, those trout flies, I made them still haven't been used yet. Now you're talking. Okay. I want to show you a new rule I got. We gotta set the hook. Okay. Gotta set the hook. Okay. Got it. There you yeah. go. There I you think go. we got him. There you go. Ooh, that's a beauty. What do you got here? That's a beauty, Alex. Reel him in, reel him in. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Whoa, oh, look at this. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Whoa. Look at you. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ooh, look at that! Whoa. What a beauty! Alex. Hey, I think you caught your dinner, Alex. We're not gonna eat him. Well, what, what do you want to do with him? Let him go home. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're going home, fella. So Here we go. He's going home. Okay. I watch him. He's going home. Here we go. Go on. <laughs> Get this. Hmm? We, regarding the inclusion of handicapped people in our commercials, we regret that we're unable to respond affirmatively to your request. Hmm. Our chief concern is that our viewers will be so distracted by the presence of a handicapped person that they will fail to identify the name of the product. Here's another one. Moreover, we have a real problem with exploiting people's misfortunes in order to sell our product. Give me a break. Hey. It's okay, Joe. Not okay. Well, Alex, come here, family hug. Too busy. Too busy to hug your mother? I'm coming for a hug. I'm coming for a hug. Oh, boy. Bob. Oh, wait, Joe, wait a minute now. I... I know that tone of voice. What are you thinking of now? Nine million people. Every single day. Well, here I am with my friend, the At family. Yes, they called us. We're looking at it right now. Miss Cooney, I don't know how to thank you. Thank you. We've been talking about doing this for some time. It's going to do so much good. In fact, we'd like to use all kinds of special children. Could you help us find them? Absolutely. You got them. Hi, Alice. Hi, neighbor. Uh, Joe, well, he's I'm on. Oh, he's friend. on. I gotta go. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Alice, there you are. Look at look. that. Oh, look, 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 look at that. Look at you. Are. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. And now, if I put this letter here and put it right up to that, okay, what does that say? You. you tell me they call you names. Now, if you take a baby toy on the bus, what do you think is going to happen? But I love Big Bird. I know you love Big Bird, sweetheart, but you're nine years old. Nine-year-olds don't take dolls to school. I want it. I'm not going to let you. Uh, Alex. Uh, oh, take the damn thing. Take it. Here you go. Bye. Watch Alex run the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, get back in the game. Get back in the game, Alex. Come on, take it in, take it in. He's the outside now. Come on, Byron. Do that. You can't. You cannot do that. I can my friends. 
They're not your friends. They're total strangers. You're too big to do that even with your real friends. Just don't be so damn friendly. Stupid. Stupid library. He can write his name just fine. He just he couldn't fit into that tiny little space they've got. So they won't issue him a library card. I spent half my childhood in the library. He never wants to go there again now. Everything is turning sour. Scouts didn't work out. Soccer was a total disaster. Don't say anything. I wasn't gonna say a thing. He just doesn't understand. All these kids at gymnastics class, they're all so coordinated. God, he tries so hard. I know. And you were right about David. David's growing up so fast. It's like he's on a whole other wavelength. He loves Alex, but they hardly have anything in common anymore. I want another baby. Do you hear what I said? I heard you. She's very pretty, Rich. Yeah, and a 3.4 for two years straight. You two uh, make any plans? Oh, yeah, don't worry, you know, we both want to finish law school before we even think about getting married. After the law hospital, I'm get married, too. I want another baby. I mean it. Talk to me. Joe, it's scary enough working to protect Alex's future. I can't believe you're asking me to start all over again. I'm tired, Joe, I'm tired. When do I get a chance to cut back? When do we get time for just us? Huh? But why isn't this enough? You had your chance. You have a normal child. Are you disappointed with Alex? Of course not. But I want to see a child of mine marry. I want grandchildren. You'll have them. Joe, Richie's going to have children. Can't you see it's not the same? I want another baby before I'm too old. Is that too much to ask out of life? Your skin is tired. Well, I guess, uh, I guess you're gonna want some new skin, huh? All right, um, beep, 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 beep. Hello, skin store? We'd like to order a new skin. Boys, size eight, pink. About, uh, oh, uh, four feet tall. Well, we'll need two arms and, and, oh no, two legs is enough, thank you. And fingers, yeah, fingers and toes, ten of each. Oh, just, just a minute. They're having a special on tails. Would you like to have a tail? No, Ma, no tail. No tail? You sure? I'm sure. No tail, thank you. When can that be ready? Oh, fabulous, thank you. We'll be by first thing in the morning, pick it up. Bye-bye. Want to take your poor old skin to bed? Here we go. Here we go. Mommy, call us face door. I want to order a new face. Not like this face. I love this face. 
I was so proud of you tonight. You helped all those people so much. All those people with Down syndrome kids. Mommy? Yes, darling. I'm sick and tired of the Down syndrome stuff. Go to sleep, sweetheart. I think it's a double scotch. He says he wants to change his face. He says he's sick and tired of all this Down syndrome stuff. Hey, Joe. You're working yourself to a frazzle. You and Alex both. You gotta cut it out. You gotta cut out all the lectures. I know. All the I know, counseling, but they all, all look the up to me. Did you see the mail just... today? I, don't care. I got letters from Arizona, Minnesota, Texas. This mother called me up from Argentina. All of them in pain, looking to me for help. How can I say no? Just say no. <laughs> Just do it. Enough is enough. You've got to stop. You... All right. Let's start right now. Say no. You hear what I'm saying? Hello? Say no. This is she. Are you serious? Hang on, please. You say no. I want to hear you say no to the National Association for Disabled People. Hello, this is Mr. Goodman speaking. Woman of the Year? Yes, yes. Yes, certainly I'm proud of her. Yeah, well, of course we'll be there. Yeah. Yes, and thank you very much. Bye. Very proud. Hey, what, what, what's the matter? Woman of the year. <sighs> Come on. You deserve it. I don't know. I'm doing all the same things I've always done. It's not working anymore. Take it easy. Now look at all you've done. The difference you've made. I know, but it still hurts. No, what makes you think bringing up a regular kid is all roses? I can't wait to find out, lady. You gonna do amniocentesis this time? I don't know. I want to have a normal baby. I don't think I could abort. Just because it might turn out to be like Alex. Haven't decided. You know where Alex says he wants to go? Oh, where? Camp. Sleepaway camp, not day camp. Sleepaway camp. So you got that from David. It's like pulling teeth getting him into that day camp last year. Maybe Bob is right. Maybe we should go look at special camps. Maybe he's got a point. David, we could get him into David's camp. Gee, I don't know. Amy, it'd be perfect. You've got an in there. It's only three weeks and David will be there. David would look after him. Amy, do this for me, please. Show. I don't think the boys are as close as they used to be. I'm begging you. I won't ever do that again. He can make it in with the other kids. Okay. I'll do what I can. You're the best. <laughs> Bless you. I guess it's too soon to expect a letter. I already looked. Ice coffee would be good right now. Ah, uh, no, that's a no-no. Seven more months without coffee. Your idea. You help. <laughs> you know, Joe, I've been thinking. Alex will be at camp for three weeks. What if we took a little trip you know, and got away for a while? Yes. 
I know it's eight years later, but what about Italy? Oh, yes. Roma. Firenze, Milano, Venezia. Let's talk about it over dinner. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. Definitely pizza. What's the matter? Get me to Dr. Jacobs. Get me to Dr. Jacobs right now. You can put this away too, Daddy. Put it back in the vault. There aren't going to be any more generations. Now, wait a minute. You can't write Alex off just because you won't carry on the family line. I'm not writing him off. It's that I had such high hopes for him. I had such dreams. And you got some damn good results. Damn good was never good enough for Joanna. Everything had to be perfect. I honestly believe that if I was a good girl and did everything right, the universe would smile on me. Right up until I lost this baby. I still believed the universe was fair. the woman of the year. Oh, she's doing better. Yeah? Yeah, I think she's gonna be okay for tonight. I made her get her hair done. Yeah. Uh, did you get a, uh, a letter from David? Yeah. It's only been gone a week. We've got three letters. I hate my counselor. I lost my baseball mitt. I hit four home runs. Says he's got a girlfriend. Uh-uh. Well, I have, we haven't uh, heard anything from Alex yet. Yeah. He's probably having too much fun to write. Yeah. Mrs. Goodman, this is Frank LaPaula up at Alex's camp. Please give me a call as soon as you can. Oh, God. I know. He's a sweet kid. He's a loving kid, really. He just needs extra supervision. And then this business of the hugging just got out of control. What business of the hugging? Well, you know how Alex likes to hug everybody. Well, one kid he hugged a little too hard. The kid wrote home that Alex tried to choke him. Now, I know he was hugging, and you know he was hugging, but some of the parents got together, and now a bunch of them are ready to yank their kids if he stays. I can't believe you'd give in to that stupidity. Mrs. Goodman, please, believe me, my heart's in the right place, but the bottom line is I'm running a business here. Mrs. Goodman, there are wonderful places for kids like these. If I hear kids like these one more time, I'll bomb it. Alex, let's get out of here. No, thank you. Alex, come on. Why do I have to go home? Today we're staying at a 
Because the universe isn't fair. Call the investor and owe anyone. Beep, 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 beep. There's nobody there. Honey? Camilla? Oh, there you are. Thank you, John. me not. Huh? Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. You look terrific. Sure. Take a look at my nose. Oh, you're lucky. Red noses are in this year. The hypocrite of the year. I gotta go and spread sweetness and light and courage and hope and tell them everything's gonna be all right all the time. I. Oh God. I'm so tired of being Superwoman. I had been waiting a very long time to hear you say that. So where is it written that you're the only one that has all the answers, the only one that can organize the committees, can make all the speeches? Well, this is one speech I'm not going to make. What? I'm not going to go. I'll tell him I'm sick. No, hold on a second. You can't do that. No, no, no. Look, Mommy, I tie my shoes all by myself. That's wonderful, but you can take them off. We're not going to go. Hmm. Uh, no, this is Mr. Goodman speaking. Can I help you? I see. Yeah, when was the baby born? Uh, and they're sure she has Down syndrome? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Look, look I'm, I'm sorry, but this is a bad time. We're just rushing out the door. I'll have to call you back, okay? Yeah, yeah, just give me your, your name and your number, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Okay, there you come. Good. Yeah. Alex, um, would you go and watch some television for a minute or so? Sure. Please? Thank you. All right, so, uh, what's all this crap about you're not going? I am not going to go and give them that same old song about how having a retarded child is the best thing that could ever happen to you. How it enhances your life and makes you a better well, person. Well, hasn't it? Yes, yes, it has. And what about the pain? And the fear and the heartache? Then tell them. I can't do that. I can't tell them that. They look up to me. So get down off your damn pedestal and let them know that even the great Joanna Goodman is only human. Maybe I'll just do that. Alex, let's no, no, go. No, no, Joanna, no, no, wait a minute, hold it. Now, if you're gonna go down there and spit your guts about your pain and disappointment, and I'm not going to let you do that in front of our son. So go on. Give him sweetness and light. Give him pain and heartache. Give him whatever you want. Just get it over with. Sure you can, son. 
Who are you calling, Alex? David's still in camp. You call my daddy. Do you want do you want to know about Down syndrome? I am an expert. Can I help you? He was so bright, so advanced. I let myself believe that he'd always be. I never allowed myself to face the fact that the other kids were bound to catch up and leave him behind. But the truth is, even the brightest of our kids is mentally retarded. And I left the most important question of all unasked until tonight. Is my son only worthwhile if he's a superstar is it okay to be a plain, ordinary, retarded person? Or isn't it? What I'm talking about here is human worth. How do you measure the worth of child? How do I... What's the matter? What are you doing here? Dad said I had to come to tell you what I did. What did you do? I, I called those people. What people? The people with the new baby who has Down syndrome. Then tell me what you said. I said that it's okay to have Down syndrome. Sometimes it makes me sad. And I have a hard time learning something. When kids tease me, people said I won't read, but I can read. I read a lot, don't I? Yes. People said I won't do math, but nine times nine is eighty-one. And what else? I forgot. Uh -huh. Yes, I told them they need a lot of jello. Was that okay? I know that our son will never go to Harvard. In fact, he will always be a person who is mentally retarded. But a person who will always try his hardest to do whatever he can do, to be whatever he can be, what he has every right to be, sweet and generous and bright and the joy of my life. Thank you very much. You know, when you're going to have a baby, it's like you're planning a fabulous vacation trip to, to Italy, the Sistine Chapel Coliseum, and you get a few guidebooks, you learn a little Italian, you pack your bags and take off. And several hours later, you land and the stewardess comes in and she says, welcome to Holland. Holland? Oh, I signed up for Italy. See, all my life I've dreamed of Italy. But they haven't taken you to a terrible, ugly place just a different place. It's uh, slower paced than Italy. 
less flashy than Italy. But after you've been there for a while, and you catch your breath, you begin to discover that Holland has windmills. Holland has tulips. Holland even has Rembrandt. But everyone you know is busy coming back and forth from Italy, and they're all bragging about what a great time they've had there. And for the rest of your life, you'll say yes. That's where I was supposed to go. That's what I had planned. And the pain of that will never, ever, ever, ever go away. But if you spend your life mourning the fact that you didn't get to Italy, you will never be free to enjoy the very special, very lovely things about Holland that that unexpected that oh so different place American Vision, World View. To understand the nation and to know the world, watch the CBS Morning News weekday mornings. and Down Syndrome, the Library of Congress suggests these books. Babies with Down Syndrome, A New Parent's Guide, edited by Karen Stray Gunderson. Cara, Growing with a Retarded Child, by Marta M. Jablo, and When Bad Things Happen to Good People, by Harold S. Kushner. Visit your local library or bookstore and read more about it. 